Hello Youtubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael and today we will be continuing my let's play of Sly Cooper for the PS3. And we're going to kick off today's video by demonstrating one of the abilities that I just got from my last video and that is the fast motion ability which really really helps in order to get around the main hub worlds in this game. And I'm going to use this ability for quite a bit in this video because I personally believe that it will help cut down the time of my commentary and also because I believe that quality is better than quantity. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Oh, I am so excited. I absolutely love this stage in the Mugshots world gameplay because basically what you have to do here is that you have to cover Murray with this cool blaster thing right here. As you can see right here, and it's in a very cool first person mode. Oh, yes, you got to get rid of these weird barrel things that expels green liquid, I guess. And um, the reason why I shoot those first is because if you don't, you might accidentally shoot them and actually um, it will cost Murray his life. As you can see, here's the screw up thing with this HD collection port. Um, you see that Murray has that golden horseshoe? I've actually tried, you know, like, um, it used to be that if you accidentally shot him in the original game, he would just lose a horseshoe. But in this HD collection, something very painful happens. He gets killed and you lose a life. Yeah, so basically, you know, I just, I, I just actually shoot him. I don't intentionally meant to kill uh, Sly's best friend for no apparent reason. So don't think that. Oh, right here. Be careful not to shoot this because those green barrels are right there. If you shoot them, well, Murray's going to get killed. I'm assuming that because if you're able to shoot him in one hit and he dies then I'm assuming that one hit from any normal enemy will get him killed. I'm assuming and I don't ever want to try it. And you kids at home, you certainly shouldn't try that. Uh, I'm just kidding around you guys. But uh, yes, oh, I like this part right here. Um, well, mainly because I know where the guard dogs are at. And I know how to get them. Like, yep, there's one right up there. And yeah, <laughs> I know how to shoot these guys because I know where they're all at. And I can take them out in a nick of time. That's pretty funny how they make um, when Murray gets the treasure key. He looks like a total buffoon and all that kind of stuff. And um, usually I don't play this game that much. And I've been playing a lot of Sly 2 because that's my favorite game in the series. And it's so weird because like Murray's some big macho man in the second game. And then in here he's like a total goofball. It, I don't know. It makes no sense. But uh, well, maybe it kind of does because maybe that's what Sucker Punch originally wanted them to do. But yes, um, it's weird. But yeah, I cannot wait until I finally get onto Sly 2 because I love that game a lot. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack. And the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick, and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him! I'm on it! Oh, Murray, what have you got yourself into this time? Well, we are in a race for basically trying to get in the treasure keys. Now, unlike the shooting stage, I absolutely hate this stage. Well... For the many of times that I have lost in this race, because this race is absolutely and ridiculously hard. I still have a difficult time beating this race when I was a child. I mean, th this level is this kind of I this difficulty um, I had with this level is kind of the same with the original Raleigh's um, shooting crab section in the um, you could find it in the third episode I believe of my commentary, but. Um, yeah, um, the reason why this level is so difficult is that, well, the basic gist of in order to win this race is that you're supposed to get all these nitro cans or nitro boosts, I don't know what they're called. Uh, what they said in the, con in the uh, cutscene, but I've forgotten it already. I'm sorry, I have short-term memory like uh, Dory from Finding Nemo. But uh, yes, 
Um, you're supposed to get all these nitro stuff so that you can boost yourself up in order to catch up with all the other racers. Here's the thing though, that's not the hard part. The hard part is the controls. They are atrocious. And I mean, they are really, well, they're not badly programmed, should I say, but they made them in a way that's so difficult. See, with this race, you're not supposed to turn very hard. If you do, oh shoot, no! Okay, if you do that, your car will drift and not like the rich racer fashion, which is a pretty good game, by the way. It will drift and then have you stop and slow down for a moment, and that's certainly not what you want to do. So the key to winning in this race, or if you play your cards right, is that, oh my god, I'm gonna lose! I, I won! Oh my god! Oh my, that was so epic. I mean... I have no words to say right now about that. Okay, I am very... Now I'm very calm. And now I've just fully assessed of what I just experienced right there. I had to be the most luckiest person in the world right now. Because... I mean, seriously, that one Nitro boost was all that mattered, and that made me won the race. I mean, wow, that's the most tense, the most tense stuff I've ever experienced in my life. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. Just you know, but, oh my goodness, I, I thought, I thought that guard was on for me for sure. I thought it was in his flashlight for a moment, but uh, yeah, the key to winning that race is to turn around corner slowly. And save up your nitro boosts and use them when the time is right. Would you look at that ugly mug? I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My x-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. When I first heard that cutscene, I was astonished. As a little kid, I went like, Th there's an elevator behind that face? And the reason why I, I was astonished is because I really like elevators. In fact, it's my second favorite of transportation. Nothing will ever trump the train for me. And I, I really love the idea of simply be entering into a capsule and simply just reaching a thousand even more thousands of feet into the air in just a few seconds no problem it's all thanks to the elevator and i really like it for that in fact uh, my favorite elevator ride interestingly is the one in sears tower because that elevator is friggin fast actually i shouldn't call it sears tower anymore i should call it the ellis tower but uh i hate that name <laughs> Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs, Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. Oh gosh, the one-liners exchanged between Carmelita and Sly Cooper are so freaking good in this game. I always like them. They still make me laugh to this day. They're amazing. But uh, yes, here we are in the level that's named 2 to Tango because literally it takes 2 to Tango as you can see in this uh, level right here. Now, what basically happens is that Car this is like pretty similar to that um, police station chase that we had in the very first mission of Sly Cooper on a much grander scale though because it was pretty darn short in that level but this one it, it's a lot longer and it's also better too because I like those one-liners um, in this level I think they're the best in this game personally and you can also replay this stage yeah you cannot replay the um, the uh, police station uh, police chase because well unfortunately the game doesn't allow you to do that sadly because I actually cut well 
Actually, I only really like that level because of the novelty that you cannot replay, which really stinks. Oh, oh yeah, be careful around here because there's a lot of these hidden clue bottles and you can really miss and you can really screw up. As you just saw there, I basically jumped off the rooftop. Now, that basically right there is the point of no return for clue bottles. If you missed a single clue bottle, you're gonna have to listen to that sassy one-liner exchange all over again and... Yeah, you gotta play through that police chase scene. But I don't think I missed any, so hopefully we're in good fortune right here. Yeah, not this police guard dog. Actually, he's not police, he's just a part of the dog mafia, I guess. Um, yeah, just knock him out and knock this guy out. Ooh, like that, yeah. And basically get this clue ball right here, and you should have good all of the clue balls well, for well, this no safe. Try five, three, two. Blueprints for mugshots additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binocucom to get the information. So basically what we got is basically mugshots equivalent of uh, the the same ability that we got in Sir Raleigh's hideout which is basically allows us to find all the clue bottles and all the breakable objects as Bentley just explained and I really can't show you it here because I've basically collected all the clue bottles but however I will be able to show it in the next level so yes the second part of this this here right now is the second part of the chase scene and you've got to play carefully around here because as you can see all these um objects are basically breakable things so you can't really stay in one section of this part right here for too long otherwise carmelito fox will destroy it now here's fine right here she cannot destroy this piece of wood right here because that would be freaking ludicrous if she could do that because this would make this level so unfair and unplayable when she could destroy every single building in existence i mean yeah just that should never happen I'm gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. Whenever I see this cutscene and I see Carmelita flying off into the distance like that, somehow it reminds me of uh, Pokemon's Team Rocket, Jesse and James always blasting off into the distance at the end of almost every single episode. I mean, I mean, that's pretty funny.